Welcome back guys. So this is question 25 and in previous video we have seen that we have implemented part A, part B, part C by using the NAND gate. So today we are going to talk about the remaining parts. So the part D here is uh, D equal to D is X equal to A plus B plus C complement and we know in our previous video that how to implement the OR gate by using the NAND gate. So let me first see that how many inputs do I have. So I have three inputs. So let me apply the three inputs. So A, B, C, this is the first, second, third. Okay, the C has to be complemented by using the NAND gate. So therefore, let me first draw here the NAND inverter. So the two input of it are combined so here i will get c complement and from here these are the inputs okay so a b c complement i have i have to add them together by using the or gate so uh, the or gate implementation by using the nor gate is here so this is the first uh, nand gate this is the second nand gate okay the third nand gate is here okay the three nand gates are here and we have to short the two inputs okay so here we have these uh, NAND gates which are combined by a three input NAND gate here as well so what is this this is the OR gate and let me draw them so this is what this is a box in which we have the NAND implementation of a three input or gate. Okay, so let me apply these inputs to it. So the first input is here, the second one is here, while the third one is here, and at the output of it, we will get the summation of the inputs, so which are x equal to a plus b plus c complement okay so this is what this is the summation of the three inputs uh, similarly uh, we can see that this is the solution of part d here okay so for part e what do we have to do so in part e we have x equal to a b whole complement plus cd whole complement okay so we have uh, this expression and we have to implement it by using the nand gate so uh, the four inputs because we have here a b c d so the four inputs are a b c and d and the input lines are here okay uh, so what do we have to do first of all we have to implement a b whole complement then c d whole complement and that is the nand gate implementation so the two nand gates okay this first second nand gates which are added together by this or gate okay so let me proceed here so the first nand gate is here two input NAND gates so the first input is applied here the second is here and at the output of it I will get a b whole complement and at the second NAND gate will be here the two inputs and the first one is applied here second one here and at the output of it we will get c d whole complement or let me draw them correctly so c d whole complement after we have to add them together and the adder by using the nor gate nand gate is this one the second one okay the two inputs are combined together and these are applied to the final two input nand gate so these are applied here and this is what this is the input so when these two are applied here at the output of it what would i get i would get a b whole complement plus c d whole complement and that is what that is x okay so this is the solution of it okay where we have implemented our gates uh, in which this win is what this is the 
this is what this is the NAND gate implementation of the two input OR gate okay so while these are the uh, NAND operations okay so uh, this is the solution of part E uh, by using the NAND gates and I hope all the steps which has been carried out here are now understandable and I will see you with some more interesting questions and some other parts of this question in our upcoming video take care of yourself and I will see you soon